Okay, well, I was partially right and partially wrong. I'm going to show you guys I made the mistake. I, I should have got the instructions. Of course, I didn't. I thought, how hard can it be? Anyways, long story short, these tabs here I had on the outside, they're meant to go on the inside. So I'm going to assume, I can't measure it because it's cut, I'm going to assume their black bushing was exact distance for here. Um, so anyways, I did the same thing that I just showed you, but I had to add a couple of washers to keep this top from bending. I really had to pound them in to get them snug. So now it should be just fine. I believe this is the way they intended, looking at the angles and that for this thing to be connected. So do over. Let's get this thing together. Okay, I got it all together. It should be lined up for my quick attach. All tightened down. Let's do a walk around. First of all, this thing is beefy. All right, let's take a look here. The square tubing is three inch square for both of these cross beams. And same thing for this big box square. It specs out at almost a thousand pounds, almost a half a ton. I got it configured with smooth discs in the back and cutting discs in the front. You can get it configured however you want, either way. I mean, these are a little more aggressive in the front and those are more for finishing in the back. They're fully adjustable. You see these, uh, the pinholes there. You got four hole adjustments for both the front row and the back row. Uh, the more you crank it in, the more you angle them, the more aggressive the cut will be. Uh, one thing I really like so far, and granted I haven't even used it yet, is they have sealed bearings. All right, all of these bearings in here are all sealed, so there is no grease zerks on this disc. I repeat, there is no grease zerks on this disc. So I am going to try this beast out here shortly out and hopefully I'll have pricing on this from Curtis on this video. So let me uh, hook it up and I'll move them discs and show you that. All right, it's time to fire this thing up. Uh, I don't like the way the quick attach fits. It's not snug enough for my liking, but that's just a problem with all these implements. John Deere, Coyote, Kubota, New Holland, they all have little bit different sizes. And the iMatch and the Quick Attaches are, are trying to bridge the gap between all of them. So uh, it fits. Um, what, I, what I'm saying is you want all the weight to be on these two bottom arms and not the top one. So you see there's a little bit of a gap there, and when I lower it, this comes up even more. So it's not biting as much here to hold it from moving that way. That's what I don't like. But I've had that with a lot of implements. It's not unique to this one. All right, I got it adjusted uh, three holes back. So it's three quarters of the way to being the most aggressive on the front one. In the back one, I put two holes so it's a little less aggressive on the back so you'll be the first to see this first cut because I try to keep it real so I'm gonna start here in dirt which is an easy cut and then I'm gonna hit that patch of sod right there which will be just a little more challenging it's not really all sod it's just kind of intermittent sod so it still should be easy cutting but let's give it a whirl all right let's rock and roll First cut with the seven foot disc. not bad uh, I don't like the gap in the center I'm 
not really sure why that is. I mean, these, you know, these middle ones aren't all that far apart. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it all the way aggressive. It wasn't that hard to pull it. Uh, the front and the back, I'm going to tweak them all the way and try it again. All right, take two, all the way aggressive, both rows. Okay, definitely much more aggressive. I could feel it really torque on the tractor more. But if I'm looking at this thing right, I think they might have half settings. So I'm gonna lighten it up just a little. On the most aggressive one, you know, these two inside discs are getting fairly close. And it sounded like they might have scraped once or twice. But you see they got the pinhole, but then they also have this uh, on both of them this indent so I'm thinking that's like a half setting so I'm gonna try and pull it back uh, maybe not let me see uh, I'm gonna try and see what happens okay I did not try that half moon setting I just don't know because I don't know which way it's gonna torque so I'm not sure if that's what it's for or not so I went back one hole on the front so I'm at three and three now which I have not tried yet and it looks like them front discs are plenty close where it shouldn't leave a gap, so let's try it again. Okay, I think that's going to be the sweet spot for now. You know, I could adjust it, let the back discs down just a little. It seems like they're riding a little bit high, which is pretty common on a disc. Um, and I'll get the drone out next time so you can get a better look at it. But this is easy right here. This is dirt. I don't think it's going to do that good in sod. But I mean, I've honestly never had and never seen other people's discs work that well in sod because it's just sod is sod which was why I had a power tiller before I had a disc but they each have their own purpose and uh, I intend to compare the two I'll do a side-by-side -side tilling and disking and I'm gonna outline the pros and the cons because they really do each have different strengths so for now that's it uh, we tested out the new one. It adjusted just fine. It seems to be, you know, it's all right. Get off of there, smarty pants. The adjustments went okay. Uh, it's cutting easy dirt. I'll get it in some tougher sod here and see how it's going to go. But I'm going to think, you know, two or three passes in sod, maybe even four. So stay tuned, and if I didn't mention it, they paint it in the color you want it. So obviously I had that match to the Coyote. Alright, one last quick look at, uh, with this is dead sod, but there is definitely old sod here. That's the first pass, uh, not too bad. Adjusted the wheel on this one so it was more level so the rear wheels are cutting a little better so uh, not too bad on sod right now looking good all right interesting note I switched to mid-range and 
uh, picked up the speed just to see the difference. So over there was a little bit slower and low gear and you could see it's clumpier. And these last couple rows here are in mid-range, a lot faster. So it does till, uh, disc it a little bit finer the faster you go. Um, not a terrible big difference, but a difference, and of course you're getting it done twice as fast. All right, we're gonna go in uh, mid-range, a lot faster this time. And I'll try to show you how it burns it up faster. look uh, three runs across maybe four in a couple spots uh, half hour of disking basically uh, drag this and it'll knocked out even more of these clumps so uh, not bad uh, for first run with the seven foot disc this here was was a lot of sod it was dead sod but it was still a lot of sod here so uh, Good test run, good test run. And best I could tell, I didn't lose any parts. This kind of stuff really hurts your uh, finish. You know, you get all them sticks and rocks. That's why you go slow the first, uh, the first run or two so you know what's in your field. Then after that, you could crank up the speed. All right, here's a look at this first field. This is a rough field. I ran over it a couple times with the disc. This is the field that the dozers just pushed all of them gnarly black locusts out of. There's a lot of roots and some rocks yet in here, and it's very bumpy, but it's getting better. One disc at a time, one drag at a time, and then you gotta go and pick sticks and rocks. But the new disc took a beating on this field. And as far as I know, it all survived a really rough field here. So looking good. Here's a section below the pond dam where the dozers didn't blend it very good at all. They had to push a few trees out. And for some reason, when they finished the base of this dam, this rough cut ground they didn't blend it all together maybe it was just too tight of a space i don't know but it worked out well i had the disc on passing through here anyways so i got it busted up pretty nice with the new disc and it's just about time to run a heavy drag over it and try and level this out some more um, but just one of them little things that just keeps coming together uh, all the way around the base of this dam right up here uh, they had really rough so uh, a little bit at a time but that disc is doing pretty good and this was some rough stuff right here you could see all the rocks that I pulled up during this uh, little disking here in the last 15 minutes so there's that stretch below the pond here now I'm just trying to cut this sod for this new road we got here because it's quite rough See how she does.
definitely giving her a workout. 